written by Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy is a Russian writer, he is a novelist, he was born in 1828 and died in 1910. Three questions has been taken from the story, from the collection of story, what men live by and other tales. It is published in 1885. This is the source of this story. What men live by and other tales. It, uh, it is published in 1885. आपको तो मने रखते three questions a call to be done हुई चे what men live by and other tales देखे ये ठी प्रकाशित हुई चे बोलो कि तुम्हारे खाता एक note कुछ और कोड दे it is published in 1885. यो तो उसको ये चे call to ये call to three questions आप पढ़े बाप पढ़ो चलिए parable Three questions is a parable. Parable is a didactic story. Didactic story. Mane shikham lak jay golpo. E golpo in matho me ekhane mainly characters kudu tha ki human beings. Parable is a jay characters human beings. A moral relation is conveyed through parable. E parable in matho me at a noitik shikha dao hai. Among ekane human characters, human beings characters are So three questions. A question ta, three question at the chare mone mukti ishe chilo. Chhar bolte apna bujhi. Je Russia actual at the rajje jine ruler ta ki chhar bola hai ta ta ekne bolche chhar. Shi chare mone at the तीन ते प्रश्न जगे चुन, तीन ते प्रश्न three questions, तीन ते प्रश्न जगे चुन, खाली कुछ मने रात में पूरी खाई आशी उठा, शे तीन ते प्रश्नों की की, इधर लेखा रोई चला को, what is right time to begin everything, what is right time, right time ना को right time, शॉटिंग समय कौन थी, आम्रा जो कुछ कुछ भी साथ आशुल बोलो तब स्टॉकिंग शो में कौन थी? इट वाज जो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन। इस डी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट टाइम टू बेगिन एवरीथिंग। सेकंड क्वेश्चन चला था मोने मोती ऐसे चीनो राइट पीपल टू लिसन टू एंड कोम टू अवॉइड। के अमार प्रोग्रेस तो बोलते हैं कार्ड पास ना भी शुरू हो एवं के अमार बोलते हैं ना ये बोल काफी हमें एडिएज है वो ये बोल कार्ड पता शुरू हो इस इस डी सेकंड क्वेश्चन डी थर्ड क्वेश्चन इस डी मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग टू डू आमादे कोड कास्टर आमादे ना ची खूब बुरुत तो बुरुत जे कास्टर आमादे खूब कॉर्नियो शिर डी मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग जहाँ तो बोल की को लें ए उत्तर पावर � प्रोकी तो उत्तर दीते पार दे और तब जी उत्तर पे तिनी सेटिस्फाई हो बैं, खुशी हो बैं, तार जोनों तिनी की बोल बैं, जे बोल बैं ताके बोरो एक तो खुश कर दे, ग्रेट रिवर्ड, इन्हीं दे बैं बोला जे ग्रेट रिवर्ड, तो शेखर ते वो पंडित है कि सामवेश बोलो, एवं शे पंडित व्यक्ति दे मध्ये � अपुन स्केच पढ़ा चुके देखे ना चार तोर ने उत्तर पाओगे जो शे चार तोर ने उत्तर आये पढ़े बोलो दूसरों प्रश्ने जुनो शिक्षणे वो जो उत्तर निश्चित जुनो शेराओ चार तोर ने उत्तर एवं तार पढ़े आप लोग देखते हुए अच्छी जे लास्ट डे जी प्रश्न लोग देखते हुए शे प्रश्ने जरा उत्तर दीजिएगा त तो शे उत्तर जो कौन different तो कौन जार तिनी खुशी हो लेना not satisfied तिनी डिशार कोटने को लेन एवं तिनी काउंटी पुरुष को लेना शेष वर्जन तो तिनी की को लेन 
অরণ্যের মধ্যে বসবাস করেন একজন হার্মিক সন্ন্যাসী সেই সন্ন্যাসী অসাধারণ পাণ্ডিত্য রয়েছে এই বিষয়ে পাণ্ডিত্য আছে এটা মোটামুটি দেশ বিদেশে সবাই জানে তিনি সেই পণ্ডিত ব্যক্তির সঙ্গে সাক্ষাৎ করবার সিদ্ধান্ত গ্রহণ করলেন আপাতত এই পর্যন্ত আমি আজকে বলছি তারপরে এইটা সম্বন্ধে একদম নিখুঁত I always know what is the most important thing to do. I would never fail in anything I might undertake. This thought having occurred to him, he proclaimed it throughout his kingdom that he will give a great reward to anyone who will teach him what is the right time for every action and who are the most necessary people to do it. And learned men came to the Tsar, but they all answered his questions differently. In reply to the first question, some said, Honorable King, in my opinion, to know the right time for every action, one must draw up in advance a table of days, months and years, and must live strictly according to it. Only thus can everything be done at its proper time. The first person, first planet man. Others declare, King, in my point of view, it is impossible to decide beforehand the right time for every action, but that, not letting oneself be absorbed in idle pastimes, one shall always attend to all that is going on, and then do what is most needful. Others again say, King, I am sorry to say that. However attentive you may be to what is going on, it is impossible for one man to decide correctly the right time for every action, but that you should have a council right of wise men who will help you to fix the right proper time for every action. Is... But then again others said, Honorable King, in my perception, there are some things which cannot wait to be laid before a council, but about which one has at once to decide whether to undertake them or not. But in order to decide that, one must know beforehand what is going to happen. It is only magicians who know that and therefore, in order to know the right time for every action, one must consult magicians. Equally various were the answers to the second question. Some said, Honorable King, I think the people you most needed are your counselors. No, Honorable King, I think the priests are the most necessary. No, Honorable King, the doctors are the most necessary. Why some said, the warriors were the most necessary. To the third question, as to what is the most important occupation, some replied, the most important thing in the world is science. Others said, it is skill in warfare, it is religious worship. All the answers being different, I agree with none of you and give the reward to none. But still he is wishing to find the right answers to his questions. Rather, I consult a hermit who is widely renowned for his wisdom. The hermit lived in a forest, and he received an young but common So the Tsar put on some clothes, and before reaching the hermit cell, dismounted and leaving his bodyguard behind, went on the horse. When the Tsar approached, the hermit was digging the ground at the south of his hut. Seeing the Tsar, the hermit greeted him. And went on digging. The hermit was frail and weak, and each time he stuck his spade into the ground and turned a little earth, he breathed heavily. The Tsar went up to him and said, I have come to you, wise hermit, to ask you to answer three questions. How can I learn to do the right thing at the right time? Who are the people I most need and to whom should I, therefore, pay more attention than to the rest? And what affairs are the most important and need my first attention? The hermit listened to the Tsar but answered nothing and recommenced digging. Are we still digging? You are tired. Let me take the spade and work a while for you. Thank you. Giving the spade to the Tsar, he sat down on the ground. 
चार तासुं को जो When he had dug the beds, the Zan stopped and repeated his questions. I came to you, wise man, for an answer to my questions. If you can give me none, tell me so, and I will return home. Here comes someone running. Let us see who it is. The Zan turned round and saw a bearded man come running out of the wood. The bearded man. The man held his hands pressed against his stomach. And blood was flowing from under him. When he reached the zar, he fell fainting on the ground, moaning feebly. There was a large wound in his stomach. The zar washed it as best he could and bandaged it with his handkerchief and with a towel in the hermit hat. But the blood would not stop flowing, and the zar again and again removed the bandage soaked with warm blood and washed and rebandaged the wound. When at last the blood ceased flowing, the man revived and asked, Give me something to drink. The Zan brought fresh water and gave it to him. Meanwhile the sun had set and it had become cool. So the Zan, with the hermit's help, carried the wounded man into the hut and laid him on the bed. Lying on the bed the man closed his eyes and was quiet. But the Zan was so tired with his walk and with the work he had done that he crouched down on the threshold and also fell asleep so soundly that he slept all through the short summer night. When he awoke in the morning, it was long before he could remember where he was or who was the strange bearded man lying on the bed and gazing intently at him with shining eyes. Please forgive me on the day. I do not know you and have nothing to forgive you for. You do not know me, but I know you. I am that enemy of yours who swore to revenge himself on you because you executed his brother and seized his family. I knew you had gone alone to see him and I resolved to kill you on your way back. But the day passed and you did not return. So I came out from my ambush to find you, and I came upon your bodyguard, and they recognized me and wounded me. I escaped from them, but should have blood to death had you not to care of me. I wished to kill you, and you have saved my life. Now, if I lie, and if you wish it, I will serve you as your most faithful slave, and will bid my sons do the same. Forgive me. The Tsar was very glad to have made peace with his enemy so easily and to have gained him for a friend. And he not only forgave him, but said, I will send my servants and my own physician to attend you and promise to restore your property. Having taken leave of the wounded man, the Tsar went out into the porch and looked around for the hermit. Before going away, he wished once more to beg an answer to the questions he had put. The hermit was outside, on his knees, sowing seeds in the beds that had been dug the day before. The Tsar approached him and said, For the last time, I pray you to answer my questions, wise man. You have already been answered. How answer? What do you mean? Do you not the see that if you had gone to the Hindus yesterday and had not done those bad things, but had gone your way, way, that man would have attacked you and you would have repented of not having stayed with me. So the most important time was when you were digging the beds and I was the most important man and to do me good was your most important business. Afterwards, when that man ran to us, the most important time was when you were attending to him. For if you had not bound up his wounds, he would have died without having made peace. <clears throat> so he was the most important man, and what you did for him was your most important business. Remember that there is only one time that is important. Now it is the most important time because it is the only time when we have any power. The most necessary man is he with whom you are but no man knows whether he will ever have dealings with anyone else. And the most important affair is to do him good, because for that purpose alone was men sent into this life.
he talks uh, in English, either in English or in Bengali. Pangla book or the Tiki Pule. Tiki Pule. Tini Puruska Pushna Pule. Tiki Pule. He proclaimed, proclaimed it throughout his kingdom and promised to give a reward, to give a reward, to give a reward. Take the will to the person who will give the satisfactory answer. The answer satisfactory. Now say, right time to begin everything. How many persons gave the answer? There are four persons there. Try to give the answer. Try to give the answer. The answer, second, the right people to listen to and whom to avoid. How many persons try to give the answer? Four persons give the answer. And now, the most important thing to do, how many persons try to give the answer? Three persons give the, try to give the answer. This is the...